Oh, who say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free in the heart? from Skylar Cole singing our national anthem. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. And a chance here to check out some stamps for him. And suddenly, his feel for the three-point shot has left him. It. It's been a tough go for the past five games. The percentage from long range, not close to what it was earlier. But he's not going to give up on it, and he'll try to get it going here tonight. Now, we'll look at Dallas's starting lineup. Terry is up there with Lee. Then it's Walker. Then it's Nowitzki. And it's Chandler in at the center, filling out the middle. And for the Bucks, we've got Moncrief. Lister is out there with Cummings. Then it's Pressy, and it's Dunleavy in the corners. Well, great. Both of these teams love to push the pace. Think we're in for a high-speed game? That's a safe assumption, yeah. I mean, but that'll also make this a serious test of stamina. It'll be hard for them to outrun each other all night long. Tip off. Goes to Milwaukee. The pass to Moncrief. Over Terry. Moncrief's shot is off. Looking at the last game for Milwaukee, it was a loss to show. Now Lee. Nowitzki outside. Launches it. Rocket six. Connects from three point range. The three ball is one of Nowitzki's favorite tools in the arsenal, and it's borderline unblockable given his size. Jason Terry, first personal foul. This is his first free throw of the game. And he is a cool customer at the line, guys. You've got to be when you're shooting 84% on the season. And the first one drops. On Grief hits them both. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. Lee outside. Pass to Walker. The tray. Another three for Dallas. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Here's Preston. Out to Moncrief. Uncovered. Good as the jump shot falls. Such a multi-talented threat on the offensive end, and you love his confidence. 
Now here's Lee. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Nowitzki sets a screen for Lee. Pass to Walker. Lets it go with a three. Bangs home the trifecta. Walker's got six. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Here's Moncrief after the Mavericks pick up three. They double him with Nowitzki. On grief against Terry, out of bounds, Dallas takes possession. Doris, when we look at the Dallas Mavericks, it looks like a team that has shown they want to win now. Kevin, I think their ownership has never been afraid to pull the trigger on a big trade. The Mavs are not about just making it to the playoffs. This is an organization that seeks the ultimate prize, and that is to win an NBA championship. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early season. You take a look at the Bucks lurking in the basement of the conference for the time being. They're not pleased with their performance so far this season. And I think for the Bucks, this has been a terrible way for them to kick off their year. They have to find a way to get back on track soon before this season gets away from them. And there were such high hopes for them in the preseason. It's hard to believe how quickly these losses are piling up. Now here's Lee. He had 27 points last game. Takes a step back. Terry kicks to Walker. Passes it to Nowitzki. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Nowitzki's got his second bucket of the night. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Pressy against Walker. Lister with a screen on Walker. And the pass to Cummings to the paint. Here's Lister over Chandler. And the Bucks miss again. Just strong work defensively there in the low post. You got to be tough down in the paint. Boy, he really anchors well on the block. Very difficult to back down. They've been excellent so far, coming in with a well balanced attack. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want. And defensively, they are connected and on a string. Here's Dunleavy, covered by Lee. Poked away. Cummings kicks to Dunleavy. Offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Just one made field goal in five tries. Not a good start. It's deflected. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Walker. And a moment now to look at the numbers for Lee. And he's as opportunistic as anybody defensively. Ranking among the top 15 league-wide in steals per game. And his floor awareness is undeniable. As you pointed Sorry. out, top 10 in assists. And he's great at drawing the defense and making the perfect pass in stride. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. shooters boy can they make or break you down the stretch here's the league's top shooters right now number one Tyson Chandler he is a finisher plain and simple that field goal percentage just absolutely jumps out at you it borders on astonishing
just under three and a half minutes gone here in the first quarter. Here's Dunleavy, covered by Lee. Feeds it to Cummings. Over Nowitzki. Cummings' shot is good. Boy, what great body control you saw there. Laying it up and in despite having the defense draped all over him. Lee with the ball. Still without a basket. Dishes it to Terry. Nowitzki in the post. He's guarded by Cummings. Great D that time from Cummings. And he lobs it up toward the rim. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Mavs. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. It has been a strange year for a few teams that thought they started a little stronger, Greg. Yeah, what you see on paper coming into the season, that means very little until you're put to the test. But these teams have time to make adjustments in their schemes and personnel. Now, here's Walker. Eight points for him. Yep, that one goes in there. Well, incredible looking shot down in the paint. Nowitzki making it look so easy right now. Bucks trail by seven. Here's Preston. Pass to Cummings. Lays it up and banks it in. The Mavericks have gone six of eight in the game so far. A very solid start for them. Pass to Walker. Takes the three. The rebound by Lister. Pressured that shot by getting a hand up just as good as a block. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art. Changing shots without making contact. Well, this is the kind of shot we've come to expect him to make. He's got to be upset with that one. Lee outside. Terry outside. Shot clock at six. Chandler with a screen for Terry. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Bucks trail by seven. Now Dunleavy hasn't made one yet. Passes it to Cummings. And that's out of bounds. Milwaukee will retain possession. And Dirk has always been a bit underrated defensively. Superb length to contest and block shots. Here's Moncrief. And he's currently averaging more than 26 points a game. Such a force. Five to shoot. Near the three-point line. It's Dunleavy. Pressy. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul, 13 foul. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Gotta admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? Free throw, good pressure. Pressy hits them both. And here is Lee. Scoreless thus far. 
On the wing, Walker. Here's Nowitzki. Back to Lee. Kicks to Terry. Six to shoot. The three. And that one is off. Some solid defense from Moncrief. Here's Presley. Five points in the game. He gets it in there. Mavericks leading by three. To the middle. And the dunk by Chandler. You know, defensively, you have to contract to take away the over-the-top lob to Chandler. And Milwaukee has possession. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game. They'll try to put time that out, one behind them. Yeah, I mean, just way too many turnovers Started. in that one. If you can't protect the ball, you, you can't expect to win. That's exactly right. Miss cues drive a coach crazy. You're giving them more opportunities than you're giving yourself, and that's always problematic. Timeout called the Bucks. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Bucks making a change here. Brewers checked in. And with the break in the action, let's look at the stats for Chandler. First in shooting percentage. And he's an elite glass eater, a factor inside among the top 10 in rebounds per game. And you're right. He's been the pinnacle of scoring efficiency. Never seems to take a bad shot. That's why he's tops in field goal percentage. Here's Dunleavy. Nine points last game. There's the pass to Pressy. Now here is Moncrief. Dunleavy up top. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Five on the clock. Shot from the wing. Almost, but it rolls out. Looking at Dallas, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Wizards. Count it. Now it's a seven-point Maverick lead. Oh, good vision from Terry. Able to find an open teammate there for the deuce. For Milwaukee, they've gone 5 of 12 from the field since the opening tip. Pass to Cummings. Nice D from Nowitzki. I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. Now here's Terry. He's coming off a 28-point game against the Wizards in Washington. Yeah, don't forget how great he was drawing contact and getting himself to the free throw line. Picked up a ton of easy points there. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Cummings against Nowitzki. To halt the run. Cummings dishes to Pressy. Shoots over Walker. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Lee outside. Trying to find chance for He's got it now. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Bucks trail by 12. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. 
Mike Dunleavy is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul. We've seen players criticized for skipping their media obligations after tough losses, Greg. How egregious is that in, in your opinion? Well, you know, they say the true test of character is how you respond to when things aren't going your way. So, for me, it's important to be accountable in those tough moments. Now here's Kidd. He gives a bit of a scoring lift to the team, averaging eight points a game. Nowitzki sets a screen for Berea. Nowitzki with the ball. Now Pierce defending. And they get it back. Three-pointer, Butler. The shot goes in. First shot, first basket. And the defense is in disbelief here. Triple after triple. Hodges against Berea. Loads it up for Davis. Deft touch on the alley-oop. A nice, silky finish on the alley-oop from the stupendous feet. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. And so here is Dallas. It's a 13-point game. Outside kid. Nowitzki up top. He's guarded by Davis. Nowitzki's shot's good. Well, this guy flat out carrying the load for them offensively. He is taking and making good shots. What a terrific job. Hodges against Berea. Pass to Grevy. Kid against Pierce. Now, here's Brewer. His last outing, he had eight points. That one good for two. That pass into the paint, that is a work of art there. Dead on target. Nowitzki outside, fires the three, and a great assist by Kidd as that one goes in. Nowitzki's got 16 points. And so it's Pierce with it. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They trail by 16. Passes it to Hodges. Out of bounds. It'll be Maverick's ball. Here's the 2K leaderboard. These teams have been fantastic from three-point land in the last 10. Fifth, the Mavericks. You know, they've certainly been knocking down threes at a high rate. You can just see their confidence growing. Jefferson's checked in for Milwaukee. And then for Dallas. Marion, he's checked in for Haywood. Walker comes in for Butler. And Lee's subbed in for J.J. Barea. Mavericks leading by 16. Outside kid. That three off the mark. The Bucs have gotten seven of their first 16 field goal attempts to go down here in the first. Hodges against Kidd. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. The pass to Walker from deep three-point land. Rebounded by the Bucks. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Here's Grevy. Guarded by Walker. Baseline jumper. Grevy's shot is off. And this is a shot he can definitely make, and the defense not a factor at all. Kid passes to Marion. Up high to stuff the alley-oop. Marion, so springy. He gets off the floor quickly for that alley-oop. Here is Hodges. No scoring in this one. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Here's against Kidd. And the dunk by Walker. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going. Oh, 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 he nailed it. Wow. A miracle. Are you kidding me? Listen, under duress of the end of the period, you just throw it up and hope. And so it's Dallas looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. They have been sharp from beyond the arc, putting on a terrific three-point shooting display. Back to the action in just a minute.
And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And quite a position here for the Mavericks to be in. What do you think, guys? Just stretching out the floor that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. And that was obviously the plan coming in. Now the big question, can they maintain that efficiency from range as the game goes along? Dallas leading by 13. Cummings is out there with Pressy. And it's Pierce. Then there's Lister. And it's Hodges in at the one spot. So that's who Milwaukee starts the second with. Shots good by Lee. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. The feed now to Cummings. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Coaches say, GA, the league has a problem when it's punishing the retaliators and not the instigators. Do they have a point? Kevin, I think so. But for any scuffle, it's worth asking who started it. And, and that's what we do in life normally, right? He misses the free throw. He hits the second from the line. Mavericks leading by 15. Outside kid. Lee outside. And a great assist by kid as that one goes in. Kid's got five assists in the game. Here is Hodges. And there's the foul. It will go on Lee. That's foul number two for him. Two fouls already on him. That is not the way to get your minutes per game up. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. Second quarter of basketball. About one minute played so far. Pass to Hodges. Bucks passing it around. Just five on the clock. The Bucks need to get a shot off here. Here's Cummings. That's a good shot, and now he's three for seven. Dallas has gotten both of their three-point attempts to go down here in the second quarter. Lee against Hodges. Nowitzki outside. Got a piece of it. Kid against Pierce. Lee with the block. They get it back. And Hodges kicks to Pressy. Top of the key, Pierce. Pass to Hodges. Six on the shot clock. Back to Pierce. Second chance shot. The Mavericks pull it in. Nowitzki's got seven rebounds in the game. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. And Lee with the basket on the assist by Mary. And that's now 10 points for Little General. Bucks trail by 18. Hodges the pass to Pierce. Now here's Cummings. He's defended by Nowitzki. Rejected by Nowitzki. Pierce kicks to Pressy. Back to Pierce. Three-pointer. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Defeated by the Wizards in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. And defensively in that one, they needed to come up with big stops to quiet that crowd and 
That's obviously easier said than done. I'll tell you this. It looked like they wanted to get out of town as quickly as possible. The problem is their defense went with them. Just enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. There's Lee with the three. The rebound by Lister. Lister's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And again, the Bucks miss. Mavericks leading by 18. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much. Now, the Mavericks' all-time great Dirk Nowitzki this summer was enshrined in the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame and received a huge statue outside the Mavericks arena. The iconic one-legged fadeaway immortalized in bronze. Inscribed on the base, loyalty never fades away. 21 letters, one for each of his 21 seasons playing in Dallas. Kevin? Isn't that something? Great stuff, DA, thank you. here for the Bucks. Moncrief is checked in for Pierce. And Dudley subbed in for Hodges. Then for the Mavericks, Walker's checked in for Chandler. And it's Terry in for Kidd. So it's the Bucks now. They've got the Wizards ahead of them. Their next game in Washington. That'll be the first half of a two-game trip. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. That's green. And now it's time for the rookie watch with this season's assist leaders. This is the newest crop of playmakers in the NBA. And you take a look at Lee, one of the best passers in the NBA, always looking to get his teammates involved. A number of gifted passers entering the NBA this season, and he's right up there among the very best. I like what I've seen from him as a distributor. It's good from long range. Lee's got 13. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Bucks have gone 1 of 6 from the field in the second quarter. It's been a rough period so far. Dunleavy dishes to Moncrief. They could use a bucket. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. The Bucs have put up good numbers at the charity strike, converting 6 of 7. And looking at the numbers this season, they're shooting a robust 82% from the line. That's about as good as it gets. showing a lot more aggressiveness now after making zero trips to the line in the first quarter. Mavericks leading by 20. Nowitzki with the screen on Cummings. Here's Marion. His second shot goes in. Off to a good start. Two for two. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. To the inside. And the dunk by Marion. 
And Marion finishes with strength there, demonstrating how athletic he is with that dunking ability. For Milwaukee, they've gone only two of seven from the field since the second quarter got underway. Lister with the screen on Terry. Moncrief the pass to Lister. And the Bucks miss again. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Over in the corner, Lee. Another three for Dallas. Three-pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Lee's got it going outside tonight, hitting four of five, 12 points from three-point land. Here's Dunleavy, covered by Lee. Here's Cummings. Will it go? And it's good on the layup. Cummings got 12 points in the game. Dallas has gone four of six from long range in the second quarter. Solid shooting. Terry kicks to Nowitzki. They double team Nowitzki. Outside Terry. That's good. And it's Nowitzki with the assist. He's got five. Yeah, the D with very little pressure on their perimeter shooters. Three of the last five baskets they've allowed have been from beyond. The Bucs have gone just 33% from the field in what's been a cold second quarter for them. Just three of nine. Here's Cummings. Connects on the nine-footer. Cummings got ten points now just in this quarter. You know, he's had better starts, obviously, but he's shaking it off here in time the out, second. Time out. And it'll be the Mavericks with their first timeout here of the game. Started. it up here and, and a chance here to look at the numbers for walker putting up about 24 points per three assists and three rebounds even if you key in on him all game he still finds a way to get his numbers right the skill the awareness the physical ability it's all there and that's what makes this guy so hard to check Here is Stevenson. He's making his presence felt offensively with his scoring average up there at almost 13 points a game. Passes to Walker. And so the ball out of bounds. Davis touched it last. And, and who doesn't love stats? Here are some numbers for Stevenson. And he's a flamethrower from distance. Top 10 in the league and three-point shooting. And he's been deadly from the free throw line. Only a handful of players are shooting a better percentage. Phenomenal asset to have on your team. Deshaun, Deshaun, Deshaun. Shot clock at five. Nowitzki finds Lee. Here's Walker. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. And Moncrief gets it to go. Listen, this guy is not the most dangerous threat from there, but you have got to honor the shooting a little bit. 
Stevenson outside. Shoots it. Milwaukee with the rebound. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. And they should because it's when you start turning down that kind of look that your offense can start to bog down a bit. Lee with the ball. He's got 16. Now the pass to Walker. He kicks it to Stiankovic. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Walker's got his third assist on the night. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. It's Moncrief on the wing, covered by Lee. They grab their own miss. Doesn't go for him. Dallas shooting nearly 70% from the floor. They are putting on a clinic offensively. Can't stuff the alley-oop home. Oh, no excuse for a guy of his caliber. You've got to finish that slam. Got to be a little embarrassed by that one. Out of bounds, it'll be Mavericks ball. And the upcoming schedule for the Mavericks. On Sunday, they'll tip off a homestand starting with the Sacramento Kings. And then on Wednesday, they'll start out on the road and play the Lakers in Los Angeles. And just looking ahead to what's on tap, there are a lot of winnable games for them, but you can't go into the stretch with that mentality. You've got to focus on what's in front of you and bring it every night. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Jefferson comes in for Davis, and Hodges subbed in for Moncrief. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. Here is Hodges. Five points in the game. Rejected by Walker. From deep, second shot opportunity, and Chandler lays it in. Chandler's got six. Well, there's the king of the putbacks, right? Chandler devastating on the offensive glass. Jackson passes to Hodges. Here's Jefferson. Jacks up a three. Berea pulls it in. Boy, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Down low, Walker. Down goes basket number six for him this game. He's taken 12 shots and made half of them. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flames. One thing I enjoy is watching players who don't pay attention to the score. You lock in on the moment and play the right way. Hodges the pass to Jackson. And he can't stop the run as he misses. Walker dishes to Berea. Chandler with a screen for Berea. Driving inside. The kick outside to Butler. Fires the three. They get it again. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. One shot. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. This is a high-character guy. Chandler is a guy who will influence everyone around him in a positive manner. Hodges against Berea. Hodges the pass to Pierce. Here's Grevy. Back to Pierce. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Can they get it? Traps in the tray. Reeves got five now. Well, that's a case where your teammates are showing trust in you, and he comes through with flying colors. Dallas shooting wonderfully up to this point, 67%. 
Walker with a clean look. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. It's first triple of the second quarter, third of the game. Milwaukee's gone four of eight tonight from three-point land, shooting 50% on the three ball here. Hodges the pass to Jefferson. Count it. Jefferson's got his first bucket of the night. Berea against Hodges. Berea the pass to Chandler. And here's Walker outside. Rebound, Milwaukee. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Pierce. And that one's good. His second basket of four, shooting 50%. Oh, how about the floater there? Nice drop. There's 49 seconds left to play here in the half. Berea against Hodgins. The kick out to Walker. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Berea. That is just a careless turnover. You've got to be smarter in those exchanges. Lister's checked in for Brewer. Then for the Mavericks, Sean Marion is checked in for Walker. Brewer comes in for Deshaun Stevenson. And it's Kidd in for J.J. Berea. Milwaukee's gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. And plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And really, the, the value of Hodges to this offense, he creates the floor spacing with his range. Two shots. First one falls for him. And both free throws good for Hodges. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Outside Butler. Chandler with a screen for Butler. Goes back up. Chandler with the bucket. Getting it done inside. Chandler's got seven points here in this quarter. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Here is Hodges. He has seven. Pierce with a screen on Kidd. Pass to Gravy for three. And so it's Dallas having no problems at all. Up 29 points heading into the next quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding. Amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Joined by Doc Rivers. Coach, what did you think of the effort in the first half? Well, the effort's fine, I guess. Uh, defensively, we got to be better, so that's partly effort. But they're just scoring too easy. They're throwing us around. They are so much more the physical team right now, so we got to pick up our physicality. I'm sure that will be discussed thoroughly before the next half. Thanks. Back to you guys. Thanks for the great interview, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of basketball following halftime. Welcome. First up on the agenda tonight, let's see how the Rookie of the Year race is shaping up. The prospects in this class have really impressed me. The race should be definitely a close one. And you can see how the teams are feeding these guys a little more each game, trying to elevate their play, bring out the best in them. Now for a moment to look at our game, everything, and I mean everything, is falling into place for the Dallas Mavericks. 
Well, they're inflicting major damage from downtown, shooting with a lot of confidence. And on the other side, that defense looks frustrated. Frustrated? You mean a little bit crispy? I can smell it. Barbecue chicken time. Mm-hmm. And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Dirk Nowitzki having a dominant impact in this game. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. On the floor for Dallas. Lee out there with Terry. Then it's Nowitzki. Then it's Walker. And it's Chandler in its center. The Mavericks shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. Taking two shots. First one falls. And both free throws good for Terry. Milwaukee has gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Here's Dunleavy, covered by Lee. Here's Cummings, and he elevates for the slam dunk. Tyson Chandler did not like that. Wow. Yeah, and boy, Cummings is tough to stop. Has that strong frame, mobile, and no one's matched up with him all night. Awesome rewind, courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Cam. On the wing, Lee, fended by Dunleavy. Pass to Terry. Walker taking his time here. And Nowitzki, wide open, he fires. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Nowitzki's got 21. I'd say it's been a long time since Dirk lacked for confidence in catch and shoot situations. Lights out. Dunleavy, the pass to Cummings. Inside. And a moment here to see the numbers for Dirk Nowitzki. And he's right up there in the top 20 in scoring. Certainly a force to be reckoned with offensively. And yeah, he's a true professional at the free throw line. It's a part of the game where he excels. You want him at the line for you in crunch time. No good on the free throw. And the second free throw, good. Now Lee, 16 points for him. Kicks it to Nowitzki. Moncrief against Terry. Nowitzki sets a screen for Terry. Back to Nowitzki. Wow, came this close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Second team foul. It's on Sidney Moncrief. The Mavericks have gone three for three at the line tonight. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Three shots. Oh. 
And that one falls for Nowitzki. I don't know how you couldn't admire the love and passion Nowitzki has for the game. This guy's a terrific teammate who just continues to get it done. Good on the second free throw. And he makes all three. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Knocks it loose. Lee with the steal. And now here's Lee. The fast break opportunity. Nowitzki up top. Walker against Pressy. There's Lee with the three. Cummings grabs the board. Milwaukee's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. And Lee pulls it down. Dallas has gone one of two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Nowitzki outside. They double-team Nowitzki. Here's Chandler and the dunk by Chandler. Gotta love Nowitzki setting his guys up with perfect passes. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Here's Dunleavy, covered by Lee, to the inside. Here's Lister. And he uses the glass on the lane. If you give him an inch of space, he's going to make you pay. For Dallas, they've gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Chandler outside. On grief against Terry. Outside, Walker, Dallas moving the ball around. Over in the corner, Lee. That drops and it comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. 19 points for Little General. All these threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting at 48% from the floor. Looking good. Lister with a screen on Terry. Moncrief. Mavericks with the rebound. Chandler's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldrich. What's the latest, David? Thank you, Kevin. Now, load management is among the new buzzwords around the league. Now, Adam Silver says maybe on top of your typical guaranteed contracts, some incremental money should be based on number of games played and results of those games. That's how most industries work. Kevin, we've seen changes with that. The league now mandates 65 games played during a season to qualify for most individual awards. David, I'm a fan of it. It's a step-by-step -step process, but they've got to do something. It looks like they are. Thanks so much for the report. And that one falls for Nowitzki. And they're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. Pass to Cummings. He kicks it to Dunley. Moncrief against Lee. Six to shoot. Moncrief the pass to Dunley. Lee with the block, and they get it back. Cummings can't hit. Now the Mavericks with it. They're on a 16-5 run. Terry against Moncrief. Nowitzki with the screen on Moncrief. To the middle. And Nowitzki gets it to go down on the assist by Terry. Terry's got assist number five here tonight. Milwaukee's gotten fewer than half of their three-pointers to go down tonight. They're four for nine. Here's Dunleavy. Still yet to score. The pass to Pressy. And here's Moncrief. Pass to Pressy. Tipped away. Stolen by Walker. The 
on the Mavericks, getting another bucket right there. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. And Moncrief gets it to go. He is too good a mid-range shooter to leave him that open. Dallas has gone 2-3 of three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. On the wing, Lee lets it go from deep. In it goes for the eighth time in 10 tries. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. Dunleavy, the pass to Cummings. Plenty of space. Tries again. Lister, that's good. Lister's got his second bucket tonight. You simply must put a body on this guy. You know he's going to try to get to that glass. Nowitzki with the screen on Moncrief. Here's Terry. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Terry's got nine. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. For Milwaukee, they've gone four of nine from the floor so far in the third. Here's Dunleavy, covered by Lee. Now Dunleavy. He has yet to score. Lister with a screen on Terry. Four on the clock. And Moncrief gets it to go. Boy, this guy has been terrific. The rest of the team, however, struggling. Dallas has gotten going here in the second half from outside. Nailing three of four from the arc. Terry outside. Nowitzki sets a screen for Terry. And he banks in the layup. Terry's got six here in this quarter. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Bucks have gone to even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. Dunleavy kicks to Moncrief. Cummings against Nowitzki. Out to Moncrief. Pass to Dunleavy. Down to 5 on the shot clock. Takes a three, buries the long-range jumper. And this is what he does. Stretch the floor with deep range. You have to close out hard on Dunleavy. Moncrief against Terry. Nowitzki with the screen on Moncrief. And it's Terry off the drive. And it's good. Two points. 13 points in the game. Well, overall, they're the team getting the better looks here in this second half. And I think what's happening is they're getting their shots within the flow of their offense, and you can clearly see the difference. Knocked away. Moncrief the pass to Dunleavy. Here's Cressy. Over Walker. Cressy's shot is off. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Terry kicks to Nowitzki. Feeds to Chandler. On the wing, Walker. Another three for Dallas. And they have been relentless from deep, and you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Chandler's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Lee passes to Terry. Back to Lee. And Lee with the stuff. You can see why they go to this guy so often. More often than not, he's going to be very efficient like he is right here. Bucks have gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6-13 from the field here in the third. Here's Moncrief. And again, the Bucks miss. Dallas has gotten 12 of their points from long range in the third quarter, going 4 of 5 shooting. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. Can they get it? Good on the shot. Dunleavy's got five points now this quarter. And it's the Mavericks with the ball. They host the Kings after this game. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. 
Steps back to the paint. Fast break, Milwaukee. That good for Moncrief on the assist by Pressy. Moncrief's got 13 points. In the flick of a switch going from defense to offense. Well, just terrific anticipation to force the turnover and ignite the break. Lee kicks to Walker. They double-team Walker. And a wide-open look for Lee. Here's Nowitzki. The rebound by Lister. Lister's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. And here's Lee outside. Trills the three-pointer. Lee's got 27. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for Dallas. They have been a wrecking ball defensively. Coming up with steals, being active with their hands, and just doing a terrific job of disrupting the rhythm. And also, guys, the tenacity they've shown on the defensive end has been something else. Look at how many blocks they've tallied thus far. For Dallas, they have gone a perfect 7 of 7 from the line tonight. A different look for Dallas. Haywood's checked in for Chandler. Marion comes in for Dirk Nowitzki. And Jason Kidd has subbed in for Jason Terry. Milwaukee's gone to the three-pointer 11 times tonight and nailed five of them. There's 154 left in the third. And there's the foul. It will go on Lee. That's his third foul of the game. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. And guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. A minute 50 left in the third quarter. Passes it to Grievy. Lock at six. Hodges against Lee. Grievy buries it from three-point range. Grievy's got eight points. One thirty-two left in the third quarter of the game. Marion outside. And there's the pass to Walker. That's good, and it's Marion with the assist. Marion's got three assists now in this one. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor spacing. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. Fields the pass to Pierce. Just five to shoot. Here's Grevy, guarded by Walker. Grevy's shot is off. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Tries from 16, and the basket is good. Grevy's got five points in the quarter. Greg, their unselfish play has really been impressive. They're trusting one another out there, wanting to get each other involved. This is great basketball. The wide open look here for Marion. Misses the three. Milwaukee's gone 6 of 12 from outside. A very nice 50% mark. Shooting the three ball well. Here's Walker. Into the lane. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Way to create just enough separation to get that shot to go. Well, to me, that's about skill overcoming size. And how about the fearlessness at the offensive end? That one falls for Walker. Nine seconds left to play in the third. Pierce with the screen on Lee. Here's Grevy. 
and that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's the Dallas Mavericks enjoying the kind of gigantic lead you almost never see. They've had active hands and have forced a lot of turnovers in this one. And we'll be back with you shortly. Let's hear what Doc Rivers has going on over in his huddle. We can't do it on our own. You got to play together. You got to share together. All right? It's simple basketball. Always preaching teamwork. Doc Rivers laying it down for his team moments ago in their huddle. Yeah, I think he sees where certain individuals are kind of taking it upon themselves, and that's not helping right now. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. We've got Lister. Cummings is out there with Pressy. Then it's Pierce. And it's Dunleavy in at the point guard. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. What do you think of the league's most recent CBA? Greg, that seven-year deal just signed. Well, Kevin, the NBA and Players Association both Take need to Take be commended. Break. Labor Two peace stop. through the rest of the decade. Most pro sports don't have this kind of stability. And he knocks down the first one. And he can't hit the second. And here's Chandler who brings it up for Dallas. Terry outside. Stolen away. Here's Pressy. Down low. Here's Lister. And they convert it last on attempt number three. Really strong rebounding on the interior. And he gets the easy put back. Lee outside. Pass to Walker. Poke loose. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. Yeah, gets a finger on it, but just can't quite come up with the steal. But a really good read on his part. Being disruptive at the defensive end right now. Here we are looking around the NBA. Greg, it feels like there's more parity amongst teams than ever before. No dominant team has been the favorite every year. And that can all change, though, in a heartbeat. Every so often, a dynasty can be born out of nothing. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. He lobs up the LU pass and the jam by Terry Cummings. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you'd get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. It's been all Mavericks. And here is Lee to the inside. And Walker gets it to go on the assist by Lee. Lee's got nine assists in the game. Great passing. And so it's Milwaukee with it. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Lee with the steal. And here's the fast break. Over Dunleavy. Up again. I'll tell you, still possesses plenty of athleticism. Chandler so solid running the floor. For Milwaukee, they've gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. Now Dunleavy, he feeds it to Pierce. And there's the foul. It will go on Lee. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And that's his fourth, and no doubt he would have liked to have not gotten it this soon. Milwaukee making a switch here. 
Moncrief's checked in, and Dallas also making a switch. Nowitzki's checked in for Sean Marion. Lister with a screen on Terry. Shot clock at six, and Moncrief gets it to go. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Terry against Moncrief. Terry, the pass to Nowitzki. Out the basket. Nowitzki's got 31 points. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Here's Dunleavy. Golden State has been the team of the last decade. But if you had to make a prediction, Doris, which team do you envision as the next dynasty? Oh, Kev, sustained success like that of Golden State is truly rare. That is a tough one. But if you're going to put pressure on me to pick one, I'd say Boston because of their star talent, their depth, and the front office leadership. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Lister. And so he's able to get one of two. For Dallas, they've gone an outstanding four or five from the field in the fourth quarter so far. Terry, and there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. Terry's got ten points in just the second half. For Milwaukee, they've gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Pass to Moncrief. Now Dunleavy, 14 feet away. Yep, that one goes. Dallas has gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Passes it to Terry. Outside, Walker. Lobbed up there for Chandler. Moncrief, El Sid with it. He's picked up by Walker. And the jam by Terry Cummings. We've played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Nowitzki sets a screen for Terry. Count that as his seventh field goal, nine tries. He's shooting 78%. Such a smooth stroke on Terry's floater. He knows his mechanics are flawless. The Bucks have gone five of six from the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. Dunleavy, the pass to Moncrief. Bucks passing it around. Ball's knocked loose. Lee with the steal. And Lee with the stuff. Well, if you don't take care of the ball, fellas, that's what can happen. Absolutely, Greg. That makes the turnover even more painful. At the end of the day, though, it's two points. Don't hang your heads. Let's get refocused and play with more patience. Not loose. Stolen by Walker. From past the arc. Milwaukee with the rebound. And you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Dunleavy kicks to Moncrief. Tyson Chandler pulls it in. Chandler's got his 16th rebound on the night. Terry, the pass to Walker. Yes, that goes in. Walker. And now that's 35 points for Walker. Well, they're trying to establish their attack down in the paint. And make no mistake, these help their overall confidence. Now the pass to Cummings. To end the run. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And one thing that came from this new CBA GA... Mandatory participation in the NBA Draft Combine. Yeah, more equal access for teams to study various prospects. Player agents can't keep teams in the dark like in the past. That makes 
for a more level playing field. And he makes the first. No good on the second free throw. Dallas has gone one of three from outside the arc since we've reached the fourth quarter. Nowitzki left side. Fades and shoots. Here's Chandler. He just cannot miss. Eight up, eight in. Flawless. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Here's Dunleavy, covered by Lee. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Dallas ball. And here's Chandler who brings it up for Dallas. Lee finds Terry. And he lobs it up. Out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. Well, when you're careless with the basketball, you can expect that to happen. Here's Dunleavy. We love the fact that the NBA is constantly evolving. Greg, what have you thought of the recent schedule adjustments? I think the league's done a great job cutting down on the back-to-backs. And also, I like these two-game, like, baseball-style series we've seen. Limiting travel helps big time. It's been all Mavericks. Now here's Lee. Chandler outside. Pass to Terry. Nowitzki looking around. Back to Terry. Lock at six. From the arc. Good on the triple. Terry's got 15 points here in the second half. First three of the half. Second of the game. Can he heat up? Here's Dunleavy, covered by Lee. Shoots the three, and Dunleavy is good for three. Dunleavy's got five points now this quarter. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three-point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. No good from Lee. And you will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. another basket for Milwaukee and boy did he ever sell the pump fake worked to absolute perfection Dallas has gone two of five on three-point shots since the end of the third quarter pass to Terry back to Lee passes it to Walker this one for three Milwaukee with the rebound Lister's got 11 rebounds in the game. Here's Cummings. Mavericks with the rebound. Chandler's got rebound number 19 now. Incredible board work. Lee outside. The pass to Walker. Back to Lee. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Nice shot by Terry. Building confidence in that deep ball. One from distance in the first, two in the second. When it comes to trade, some say the draft pick protections should only be for the top four or the top 14. TV, why is that? Well, I think we saw this last season with Dallas. They were in a situation where they had an opportunity to be in that play-in situation but keeping their top 10 protected pick obviously pulled them in another direction. So perhaps those limitations might help, Kev. Shots good by Walker. Yeah, that's two straight three-pointers they've allowed. Milwaukee's gone downtown 13 times in this game, and they're just over 50%. 7 of 13 on threes. Pressy dishes to Dunley. To the paint. Cummings passes to Lister. 
Dunleavy for three. And again, Milwaukee with the triple. Well, I'm telling you, this guy is doing everything he can to get them where they want to be. He's been on a mission in this period. Dallas has gotten eight shots off from three-point land and hit half of them. On the wing, Terry. Moncrief defending. Nice shot by Terry. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. And it's the bunch ball. Here's Pressy. Pass to Lister. It's good. Lister's got nine points here in the second half. Lee with the ball. And Nowitzki has it in the corner. They double-team Nowitzki, and out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Mavericks making a switch here. Marion's checked in. Here's Moncrief. Now Dunleavy, pass to Moncrief. Here's Lister. And you think about the All-Star game last year, Greg, some concern about the lack of competition. Uh, it worries me, does it worry you? Kevin, it's not ideal. I think it's worth asking, what could give the players more incentive to win, whether that's money or something else we can think of? Terry kicks to Lee. Back to Terry. There's the three. Sinks the triple. Terry's got 28. Heavy incoming from beyond the arc. A key part of their initiative this entire fourth quarter. It feels like they have worked their perimeter game to perfection. Swinging the ball, cashing in from the outside. What a performance. Pressy passes to Cummings. Here's Dunleavy. Covered by Lee. Lister with a screen on Lee. Four on the shot clock. Here's Dunleavy, and it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Dallas. Two great rebounding teams. And these guys worked just a little bit harder tonight, and that was the edge they needed. And an important milestone for them tonight as they pick up win number 10. And so they'll take the first game of the season series, a team they'll only see twice. They're certainly happy to start it off with a win. And we watched one guy all night long, guys. And, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Little General. This guy putting on a passing clinic. If you want to know how to run an offense, roll back the tape from this evening. Chandler comes with a double team. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. And you can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. No doubt. It felt like they were a little tight for much of the evening. Now they're in a better flow, but it may be too little too late. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. There's 48 seconds left in the game. Lee outside. Passes to Marion. Nowitzki outside. Lee outside. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. The pass to Dunleavy over Lee. And there are the Bucks with another bucket. Twenty-three seconds left to play in the final quarter. Well, for the Mavericks, they can just run out the clock. Now here's Lee, pended by Dunleavy. And here is Lee. So no problem for Dallas as they get the win. A resounding victory for them. 
and Greg in enemy territory, no less. That's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And that'll do it, folks. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. As we leave you with our New Balance player of the game, Little General.